Hello, this is Thomas Sutpaka speaking. In this video we will focus on the mobile app. The mobile app which uses the mobile first platform and the mobile first platform runs in a container inside Plumex. Some basics about the mobile first platform. Um, the app is developed uh, natively on a PC and um, the app contains the framework information to communicate with uh, the MFP server. And the MFP server components are, for example, adapters to communicate with the backend. And that means um, if the app is used, the app directly communicates uh, with the Bluemix container with adapters on the mobile first server to get the data from uh, our cloud and database, for example, or other backend systems. Um, we can observe the usage of the mobile app uh, based on the console information and other operational analytics information. Uh, some um, use cases for our mobile app. This is for sure to get a sensor, filter on data, provide charts to filter on these data, report the problem, pictures and so on. So now take a look at technical details of the mobile app. The mobile app itself is a hybrid app um, for iOS and Android and uses the Cordova, Ionic, Angular, uh, Google Maps, uh, Mobile First and Charts. And uh, as that, it, it implements uh, different use cases we specified before. Now take a closer look to the app and the app implementation. Here I have uh, implemented the app, mobile app on my Mac. Uh, I also developed uh, the server components here on the Mac and I uploaded the needed adapters or the needed configuration to the mobile first server in Bluemix. So now I'll, uh, I start the app on the Mac here and um, I emulate these on your iOS device using Hyperdia 2. Come to Kayaki and then so now it starts Currently, the authentication is not implemented, but uh, it can be done, and we have um, a framework for that also on mobile first. Uh, let's get some sensor data from uh, our Bluemix cloud and database. Uh, we can take a look at the details, show the location uh, in the map, Maybe also update uh, the location with the actual uh, location of our device and um, report a problem if needed. Can take a picture, can uh, update our comment information. So, and um, we can get some driver information, so people who maybe drive to the sensor position if uh, some critical situation is there. Um, this data does not be provided from um, uh, our cloud database. This is an external other data source. So now um, I use the some filter options here in the app. Uh, by default, uh, the critical data will be searched when we select status, but we can also filter for, for example, for some safe uh, dates. Uh, select a chart. You can see this is uh, these were all data which were in a, in a, in a safe status, and uh, we can search also for a, a device, concrete device. I know there is a device with uh, starting with this number and um, take a look at the chart and then we can see okay this uh, where everything is at 20 degree and then blah, in a moment yeah, it's really getting hot and uh, 24 degrees it's too hot for our goods in this example 
uh, the status is crazy but they will I know some information about that okay um, this was um, uh, the basic and now we'll take a look at uh, the mobile first server and by by the way uh, we also can get some uh, live messages uh, you know the text-to-speech uh, is frequently send it so this is also possible and then we go to the mobile first server the mobile first server here and we open up the console we have to authenticate ourselves on This is the operation console. We can see uh, the applications which are currently deployed on the mobile first server, our mobile first starter. And this is our app, the Temp Tracker app. Uh, we can see we have several versions on um, our server deployed. Some of these versions are disabled, some uh, are um, active, but uh, there is a notification. Uh, just take a look at uh, what that means. That means uh, uh, we can say if someone has um, the application on his device, maybe for example the notification, <coughs> uh, please update uh, your version, for example it will be uh, deactivated next week or things like that. Yeah, um, uh, from a single pace of entry. So there are the adapters. These um, are the adapters which are used by the different applications. Uh, you can see the devices uh, which are currently in use uh, to access the different applications. And for a more detailed um, analytics information, we use the analytics console. And uh, inside the analytics console, we can uh, see different overviews, uh, total sessions with our server, for example, and maybe also um, define a specific uh, time frame here. So we can see here yeah, which uh, application was used in this time frame, for example. Um, here we can uh, see the devices which were used in this in, in, in this time frame uh, operating system usage yeah adapter calls and um, device search uh, the simulator uh, the uh, or real devices so and here is the network inside the network um, we can see uh, what is the network traffic at all and uh, also the adapter request. This is very interesting because uh, you see um, the adapter is the, the single point of entry to your backend system and uh, this is the round trip time yeah, from um, the message and this is the adapter time. So this helps a little bit to identify if some uh, performance problems um, are available or appear or you get some feedback from the customer you can see okay what happens and you really can see which adapter really took a long time and um, here for example our um, adapter to get uh, the driver list uh, this is uh, the command to do that um, that's the longest one in average and uh, the shortest one is these and this is the find yeah the search I used and uh, getting all the documentation and update uh, data we also can um, search for some log information here is some log information uh, from uh, the, the client yeah which the what did the client provide? I can uh, provide some debug information uh, sending to the server and um, some out-of-the-box warning things like uh, 
certification identifier, validation feature, and, and things like that. Yeah, and about the, the server state. So as you can see, um, it's pretty much you can do with uh, the mobile first platform to examine. It's a professional platform uh, for mobile solutions. So this uh, was a, a short insight uh, to the app in uh, the context of the IoT um, and Bluemix and mobile first sample. If you really want to get more information and deep dive and educate yourself, please use uh, the links below in the description. Thanks. I hope the information was useful for you and thanks for watching.